Hello, gang. Good to have you all back again. My freeform Fridays are really getting freeform with this one. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a video like this before. I'm going to tell you about Spencer Station, Missouri. Now, 13, no, it's been about 11 years or so. So it was in 2013 when I got out of the Army, when I was medically retired. Wife and I like to drive. And we happened to settle. Bought, bought our house and settled in a stone's throw from classic Route 66. And we'll sometimes just get out. We want to get out. We like to drive. We used to take road trips. We'd literally pick a direction and drive for a day, sometimes two days, if time, finances, and such were available. Explore things along the way. Can't do that anymore. Work, life. All that stuff. But when we first settled here, we took to driving one of the local roads. But of course, Route 66. The stones throw from it. I mean, I could hit I could hit the old ro road with a 60 millimeter mortar. I'm that close. Um, <laughs> for the military military buffs out there, it's like, oh yeah, he, he's he's that's close range. Anyway, not that I'd ever do that. Not that I've got access to one. Just a distance reference. We went driving, and I'm going to be popping up a lot of pictures here. And one of the things we found was Spencer Station, Missouri. Spencer, Sta Spencer Station was originally on, wa on the wagon road, packed dirt wagon road, one of the trade ro roads that went in and out of Springfield, Missouri, home of Route 66. Now, as you can see here, it's on the old Route 66, near Route 66, near Highway 44. When we first found it, now, when they built the original old Route 66, as I said, it was a packed dirt road, and it's named Spencer after local merchant, tradesman, on the roadway. You know, on the old wagon route. The actual Spencer Station was established in 1926 when Old Route 66 was built. And when we first found it, it was all boarded up. It was sealed. And peeking in the old windows, the ceiling and parts of the roof had collapsed fallen and fallen in. It would have been, it was a good site for, you know, abandoned, you know, or abandoned porn, anybody that's into old abandoned structures and buildings, classic things, especially along Route 66. Now, one of the important things, you, know, you know the bridge here, that's the original bridge, and that gray concrete road, that's still the original Route 66 road. That's one of the things we loved about it. All those people going back to the 1920s, driving that route, drove that road. Old Route 66, all the songs about it, the music, the people that drove it from up Chicago all the way out to California, that's the same concrete, that's the same road in that picture you're looking at. It never got resurfaced, it never got updated. Now, it used to be like, you now, Spencer Station became like our turnaround point. We'd be driving out along that way, and it's like, oh, we found the old bridge, and there's Spencer Station. We'd pull into the gravel, turn around, head home. Kind of my surprise, about a year and a half, two years ago, a gentleman named Dan, met him, great guy, bought it. And he started refurbishing and rebuilding it. As you can see, he put in trestles. Got put in, new roof is up there, he's going to be working on a new ceiling in time, but he's turning it into a classic stop along the route. Now keep in mind, place has never had running water either. Just side note, it's never had running water. Currently the facilities, if you got to go, is a porta potty out back. <laughs> but he's rebuilding it. Now over the years since its foundation, it was a Greyhound bus stop, it had a general store, Spencer's store. It had a barber shop, had a little 
you know, eatery for folks stopping at the ground. It was also the local post office for many years. You know, here's an, you know, here's a picture, the new postal. It's actually an old postal desk, and they're trying to embrace and show the history of the place. That's why he's rebuilding a classic bar barber shop, and the store's gonna have a lot of things referencing how things were. We were amazed at the restoration, the cleanup, everything Dan and his wife has done. Now, they're technically not open, and they can't technically open until completion, but on weekends, especially during the summer and during the, you know, Route 66 tourist season and drive season, they've got a come on in, sign out, and the old front door that had been sealed apparently since the 60s is working and is able to be opened and folks can come on in again. It was just a fabulous and interesting experience. It was gr It's great to see the place being restored, coming back around. And on that note, this is the original house Mr. Spen Spencer lived in. He's planning to renovate it as well and turn it into a Airbnb, basically for folks traveling Route 66 so that when it's done, when it is open, you can make reservations to stay in the Spencer House at Spencer Station along Route 66 as part of your journey. Now, along with the restorations, along with the refurbishment and improvement on the building, so I mean, he's got to get running water, working water to be legally open, to legally open it up. Um, he's been doing renovations for other folks at other locations for like 17 years. That's his job. This is his personal site, his personal passion project. He's also picking up other things such as this old soda cooler and this fridge. That's that an original 1935 refrigerator. He managed to get it fixed and working and on the lowest setting, those bottles of water come out cold enough to hurt your teeth. <laughs> Anyway, I know this one is short. I really enjoyed seeing the work Dad's put in. I caught him when he was actually open this last weekend. And just really, really wanted to share. I hope you enjoy. We enjoyed it. We're looking forward to, you know, years to come. If it takes him years or over this next winter season, when he's going to be doing a lot of the work. Fewer tourists and such. We look, for, we look forward to seeing how Spencer Station gets restored. So, thank you for joining joining me in this in this little freeform Friday. Leave any thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like and dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with some friends, especially if they enjoy historical stuff in Route 66. But remember, more important than anything, there is something or someone important to you that matters in your life. Then whether you choose to get up and out face to face with other people or stay behind your keyboard restore a piece of antiquity or just pick up the phone let a friend or family member know that they matter to you and you were thinking about them whatever you choose to do however you choose to do it get involved and make a difference but take care stay safe I am the Articulate Grunt hope to catch you back next time but for now I'm out from here bye